Greetings, my friends. It is me, Elliot C. Morgan, and welcome to the study. I'm here in my ivory tower that I made from the tusks of narwhals. I know you're confused. Your cherub faces, but shimmering symbols of innocent vapidity. Excuse me. It's for my father. He died when I was two and left me his fortune, which he earned after he copyrighted oil. This is the show that gives you the news from the top 1%. Sure, if you want to be spoon-fed someone else's regurgitated Reddit comments, watch something else. Worth <coughs> it. If you want to be pat on the back with the popular opinion and reinforce your hand-me-down worldviews, which you will cling to for fear of pain and an ultimate expansion of your map of reality, by all means, g. <coughs> but if you want the truth, it better be whole. And if you want class, it better be upper. I'm Elliot C. Morgan, and this is the study, Who Needs Gluten When I Can Feast on Your Hate? Speaking of gluten, you know who wouldn't be in the news right now if America would stop gorging themselves on processed foods and wake up? <laughs> this guy. Jared Fogel paid for sex from a girl as young as 16. Let me tell you something, it's disgusting. When I was 16, I was still listening to no effects. You should be ashamed of yourself, Jared. You know what happens when you turn 18, Jared? Taste. Instead, by paying for sex from a minor, you probably contributed to the purchase of Selena Gomez concert tickets, or worse yet, anything from Hollister. So yes, enjoy prison. Uh, we are now moving on to the ad portion of the show. I appreciate all my lovers. Without this, it just, <laughs> just wouldn't. <clears throat> Hello, young demographic seeking entertainment and knowledge from online personalities who capitalize on relatability over substance. It has come to my attention that many of you will be able to vote in the upcoming elections, which is why I, Elliot C. Morgan of Morgan Enough Oil Industries and host of the study, am publicly endorsing Donald Trump. No, okay, no. You think I'm some kind of sellout? You think I'm just, I'm just gonna read anything? You think I'm gonna be paid? You think I need money? I earned my money, okay? My dad had to die for me to get that money. You know how hard death is? It's like literally the hardest thing. No one survives it. Except the Lord. Roll the camera, Alejandro. Sorry about that. What's up, guys? Elliot C. Morgan here. And I can tell you, just in all honesty, that yeah, I am absolutely voting for Donald Trump because I do want to make America great again. And you know what? All these bleeding heart liberals mocking Donald Trump, do you know what you're doing? You're spinning along, man. You're just a cog in the machine of conformity. The reality is that Trump haters out there, or traitors, if you will, and yes, I just did, even if you can't even, you refuse to vote for someone you don't think is cool. Trump doesn't look the way you want. Mm. D-Town don't play your game and that scares you. So yeah. I, Elliot C. Morgan of Morgan Enough Oil Industries, host of the study and publicly endorsing Donald Trump. Not because he's paying me to, but because I love America. And because he's paying me to. So Caitlyn Jenner might be facing manslaughter charges, and the reality show is that this is sad for Caitlyn Jenner. But you know what? Ever since Caitlyn Jenner like, revealed herself, everybody's been like, she's so pretty, she looks like Jessica Lange. But I think that if you look really closely, Caitlyn Jenner actually looks a lot Bruce Jenner. So-called scientists are saying that July was the hottest month ever recorded ever, which has led to more and more liberal fear-mongering about how the ice caps should be allowed to get married or whatever it is they say. What about the polar bears and the whales, blah, blah, blah. Have you ever considered just how stupid animals are? I was thinking about this the other day, guys. They're idiots. You know who deserves to die? Idiots. And whoever invented those skateboard segue things. But listen, if we blast ourselves further toward global warming, we'll have fewer animals, taking up fewer resources, allowing us to ultimately open more water parks. Check out this snake that died after it fell off a cliff after eating a porcupine. Would you rather have that or this? That or this? That or this? I think the answer is simple. And finally, I leave you today with contractual oblination, which the lovely folks at SourceFed have put into my contract. Basically, I'm obligated to talk about big picture stuff for at least a few moments every episode, but like, <laughs> I don't really like doing that, uh, so I'm gonna get it over with as quickly as possible while also displaying a slideshow of Kendall Jenner bikini pics. Everybody wins. 
If there's one thing I've learned from growing up on the tough streets of the Hamptons, it's that scandals exist everywhere. Scandals such as the Ashley Madison hack and the Fogel what the f serve only to bring those high on themselves down a peg or two. But as someone who exists above most others and who wants cleaned the glass just to know what it would feel like, it's important to remember that an outpouring of attention toward these lascivious deeds serves only to justify your minions' deep-seated fears, rejections, and desires. It is only upon the consumption then, of opinions and beliefs counter to your own that you might be able to look inside yourself once more, deducing what makes you tick, fixing the clock of your soul, and ultimately having the time of your life. It is for that reason I, Elliot C. Morgan, am here. This is a study. Tell me in the comments, like, what was your favorite Kendall Jenner bikini pic? And also, like, why is war? Now, if you'll excuse me. I'm gonna go make like a Versace handbag and get in my car. <laughs> Where's that Lee girl? The little one. I'm gonna find.